Port Douglas is known for its beach and trips to the Great Barrier Reef, while Mossman has its famous gourd. But the area has much more than this, as we found on our recent trip. We're at the Botanical Ark, a fantastic property out from Mossman in North Queensland. They grow all this amazing fruit which you see in front of us here. They have something like 500 different varieties of fruit, some of which are quite amazing, as this owner Alan Carl explained. Right, it'll change your taste buds for two hours. So the skin and the flesh contain this protein which coats the taste buds on your tongue and they lock into the acid sour receptor so everything acid and sour tastes deliciously sweet. The location is quite magical, but it was not always like that. At one time, this was a sugarcane farm, then later a cattle property. Now it is a rainforest paradise, all due to the hard work of Alan and Susan. The cattle farmers used to grow in the hills even, uh, on the foothills here. That was all grassy hills. We bought this property 36 years ago because we have two daughters and we wanted to find the best place to raise our children. And our criteria for setting up a home was very different from most people. We didn't want a house with four bedrooms and three toilets and two garages. We wanted a, uh, a place where there was no pollution, where there was plenty of pure fresh water and where we could grow our own food. Most very significant in Buddhism because this is actually a, a cutting from the original tree in Sri Lanka that one of the Buddhas was to receive his enlightenment on. So I walk under it every day. In reaches of the Amazon. This is a plant called Bixa. If you've ever been to the Amazon or seen documentaries, you may have seen Indians with some red or orange makeup on. It comes from the seeds of this fruit. The colouring is called a natto, and the beauty of this colouring, which will oxidise a darker red, is that it's not poisonous, it's water soluble, it has no taste and no odour. So this is a perfect safe red colouring for us humans to use. After walking around the property, we stopped to have afternoon tea, made from many of the plants in the forest. All in all, it was a magical experience. Next day we were off on a new adventure. We were to spend the morning snorkelling in the Mossman River with a company called Backcountry Bliss. First we had to put on wetsuit and mask. This region of Queensland is crocodile country, so we were all concerned about meeting one of these creatures. Fortunately, the water is way too cold for them. We were given rubber rafts and told to practice our techniques. It was not difficult, but the magnificent rainforest setting was quite distracting. The water flow today was small, but this allowed us to see everything that was in the water or on the bottom of the river. We're in the Mossman River. We've just come down through these little rapids here, which was quite exciting. We've probably been on the river for about half a kilometre, and we've seen fish and turtles and uh, a few other lizards and things. It's been a really interesting morning. The surrounding area is just magnificent rainforest. The, the number of different trees in here. We've got a guide who is um, an expert on the, on the area and he's just been telling us about the different trees and showing us things that you would never see without a guide. This is the dry season. And there's still a little flow down the river, but apparently in the wet season, the, the river's at least a metre and a half higher than this, and the flow is obviously much stronger. That would be much more exciting. But it's been great this morning. It's every time. 
floods, we have to come through once it clears up and actually just reassess and figure out, you know, can we still do this? Yep, okay. No. The best part of the morning was to experience the peace and tranquility of this wonderful location. We drifted along for about two hours and I'm sure everyone wanted it to last much longer. The everyday world was far, far away. But all things have to come to an end. From the river, we went to the sea. We're about to walk board sail away. We're at the Port Douglas Marina and we're going out for a sunset sail. It's been a beautiful day and I'm sure it's going to continue into the afternoon. I'm just going to run through a few safety elements of the vessel, but firstly, welcome aboard. As we head out of the marina, we are offered a drink and some snacks. The sun gleamed on the water, the conversation flowed and life on a sunset sail was good. Then they made me work. On this lovely luxury catamaran out of Port Douglas, it's about 45 people aboard, and we've been on a sunset sail. About 90 minutes, and absolutely wonderful. Marina after a 90 minute sail on Sail Away, which is a lovely catamaran, luxury catamaran, which does this trip out of Port Douglas every evening. Very worthwhile trip. Food is always an important part of a holiday, and our first experience was a delightful poolside lunch at the luxurious Pullman Sea Temple Resort. That night, we ate at Salsa, one of Port Douglas's excellent restaurants. Next night, we ate at Harrison's at the Sheraton Grand Mirage Resort. It was a memorable dinner. In between eating, we managed to enjoy the spa at the Pullman Sea Temple. How oh, is it? Delicious. But I'm so relaxed. We're at the Sheraton Mirage Resort in Port Douglas. It is a magnificent property, even though it's, I don't know, it's probably about 30 years old, but it's in pristine condition once again. One of the highlights, of course, is this amazing lagoon pool that we're overlooking now. And this pool winds around all over the place and covers something like two hectares. And you can swim anywhere. At all. The resort nestles in tropical garden and offers guests serenely styled rooms, vibrant eateries, an 18-hole golf course and 24-hour fitness centre. 